Now we're on overtime on the Internet. Let me ask some of the questions that people have sent in. Do you think JFK would be considered fit to serve as president today given his proclivity for extramarital activities? Well, I, I, I certainly guess that they would be more public and that would be probably a deal breaker for a lot of people. His health would probably also be a deal breaker. And that would probably be more public. And his too. proclivity for tax cuts would also make it very hard for him yeah. to win a Democratic primary. I yeah, he was a tax cutter, wasn't he? Indeed. All right, fuck him. Um, <laughs> oh. Ouch. <laughs> no. I think he was a great president, and I'm glad that, uh, thank the Lord that I don't believe in, that he, we had him during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh, yeah. Because what matters is the decisions people make at moments like that, not what he was doing with his intern. I think the fact that Nixon in 60 was a champion of civil rights is very much a point in his favor. I'm sorry, say that again? The fact that Richard Nixon in 1960 was a champion of civil rights uh, was a big point in his favor. And if you had two parties competing for the African-American vote, I think that uh, history would have looked a lot different. You would have seen a situation in which black voters and their interests wouldn't have been as neglected as they were. Well, certainly until the Civil Rights Act in 64, you're right, it was the Republicans, I mean, since Lincoln were more the party of right. the African-American. I mean, And they know, really turned to 65 with the Voting Rights Act. Yeah. That's when Johnson said we'll lose the vote right. for uh, the South for 20 years, and he was right. Right. Is okay. it true, by the way, that in 1976 that Martin Luther King Sr. backed Gerald Ford over Jimmy Carter? Oh, and he no. also did... No, Jimmy Carter, I don't believe that. Jimmy Carter was very close to the King family. Is that right? He was okay. governor of Georgia. He was very okay. close to the King family. Uh, he, I don't he think He did win true. a substantial... Uh, a share of the black vote yeah. in 1976. That was one of the last times that happened. The last time uh, a Republican uh, Gerald Ford yeah. in 76. In 76. I don't know about that, but I do know Sammy Davis hugged Nixon. Oh, God, he yeah. was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Davis is... He did. He hugged Nixon. Incredible yeah. entertainer. <laughs> and maybe that's why, because he, yeah, he was more... I, I didn't really realize that, that Nixon uh, campaigned on civil rights in 1960. Yeah, yeah well, but, uh, but you've got to remember, Nixon, Nixon had a lot of black support Martin Luther King went to jail in 60. Nixon refused as vice president to do anything. John Kennedy had Robert Kennedy call the judge and say King should go out of jail. And that's when a lot of blacks switched over to the Democrat. So there's a difference between support and being there when I need you. Yeah, there's a lot that happened uh, throughout the 60s, uh, particularly vis-a-vis -vis Nixon, in particular the compact on Fifth Avenue, Nelson Rockefeller. It was a complicated story. As, as yeah, okay. you're right. Kay Sandrew says, I would like to ask Reverend Sharpton why he thinks African Americans are hesitant to support gay marriage and if homophobia is commonplace in our church. I think some of it is homophobic. I think some of it is that uh, a lot of people in America uh, just didn't see it as the issue that it is. It's an issue of people having the right to determine their own lives. Whether I agree with something or not, I don't have the right to impose it on you, and you don't have the right to impose your beliefs on me. So it was easy for me. Any consenting adults that are not breaking each other's uh, physical uh, decisions in terms of but, life have the right to do what they want. But certainly a lot of black churches. A lot of a lot black of, churches. Black and I took a lot of heat this when liberal. I said it. I was going to say I took must... a lot of heat, but I think right. that yeah. you've got to have, people have to have the right to make their own choices, even if it's a choice I don't agree with. But a lot of people, you know, must, you know, give you some grief about this. Well, you wait till you, I get a lot of my ministers calling me when I finish this show tonight with all of the cursing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I ask you? You are. Does anybody believe that President Obama is actually against gay marriage? No, absolutely not. Nor do I think he's religious either. Right. I just think he has to do certain, nor do I think he wants to raise the defense budget as he's done every year. I think he has so many things on his plate, and he's already, you know, the Jackie Robinson of American politics. He cannot fight every battle. Right. Can yeah. you imagine Just to what... be clear, that's an incredibly cynical view of the president. I mean, that even his religious that's convictions every... are... Well, that's... Uh, that's pretty damn... Big. Well, cyn one man's cynicism is another man's realism. So if you Wait, want to call you... it cynicism... What do you think is cynical? Say, but, you know... I think he may well be right where a lot of Americans are, and his views are evolving and have evolved, and that probably he will be much more pro this. You don't think so? You're... I think he probably presided over a gay marriage when he was at Harvard <laughs> Law. <laughs> <laughs> like... so you I think, think you're probably right cynical. about marriage rights, about yeah. religion and so on. His, his, his mother was a secular humanist, wink, wink, atheist, and I think <laughs> my suspicion is that's... 2013, really he'll come out in favor of it. I mean, yes, assuming... Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's got, I mean, no, the same thing with weed. You know, you can't be the first black president. Of, <laughs> hey, you know, I mean, it, they would crucify him. They just, you know, you just can't. He's, I mean, the, the amount of thing. I mean, the amount of, of invective he has borne. I mean, the, 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 the disrespect. We talked about the show last week. So unprecedented no, for a president. Remember, Arizona State wouldn't give him an honorary degree. They wanted to see what he was going to make of himself. Right. Elected the first black president of the United States. Let's see where he's going to go in his career. Uh, the, the, the lady with the finger in his face a couple of weeks ago, uh, you lie. I mean, you don't think the last two presidents were disrespected by a lot of folks? Not to that degree. Did they, anybody stick a finger in their face? Did they, yet, did they heckle? Did they ever heckle someone, Bush? Someone threw a shoe at Bush. No, that was not an American. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. That was not an American. You a lot of opprobrium and contempt. Yeah, I think that that's different. fair to say. But that's, I don't really think we should compare what an Iraqi enough, does in Baghdad right. with <laughs> our own. Press the point. Press the point. It's a good point. But I think that uh, <laughs> can, I, can I chime in on the yes. gay marriage issue? Please do. Because actually, I think the Obama administration has done something that is incredibly significant on this, which is to stop defending the Defense of Marriage Act. Uh, and yes, and that, right. that promises to change things. And, and another point to your conversation on the panel I come from Vermont. And in 2000, and, well, yes, we have the teddy bear, but uh, that wasn't what I was going to comment on. Uh, but it, we, we were the first state to legalize civil unions. And after we did it, we're a very liberal democratic state. The Republicans, there was a huge reaction against it in 2002. The Republicans took control of the legislature. Uh, two years ago, we became the first state to legalize gay marriage. Uh, that was civil unions. In 2008, we were the first state to legalize uh, uh, gay marriage by law. No political reaction whatsoever. So you, you, you uh, of course, have spent a lot of time in Afghanistan. What year do you think we could expect gay marriage in Afghanistan? <laughs> well, parts of it are widely practiced. <laughs> That's right, right. Girls are for bearing babies, boys are for fun. What did they call that uh, custom where the wealthy men have a boy around that 10-year-old boy who dances for them? And... A bacha. A bacha. I was going to say right. bunga bunga, but that's Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I got I to gotta get my pervert to country dictionaries. <laughs> <laughs> Does the requirement of drug testing for welfare benefits go against an individual's civil liberties? There's a nice of course. Uh, down uh, the middle do, for you. Why, why, why do we drug test everybody in America that, that gets uh, some assistance from? Do we drug test Wall Street before we bail them out? And, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and all those brokers do blow. I just like this. I hope that's not actionable. <laughs> Sandy, what do you think about that? I do think it is. I think it is an issue. I think that you, it, it, it it's clearly. So you don't test everybody who gets any federal benefit. You don't drug test them. So just to single security. out welfare recipients, social security. And let's start, you know, drug testing social security recipients. You know. Yeah, I mean. that's right. Some of those grandmas are pumping. <laughs> uh, yeah, All right. Thank you, possible. panel. You did a terrific <laughs> job. Thank you, audience. Really appreciate it. You're a lot of fun. We'll see you next week. Real time with Bill Maher. Ask Bill and his guests your questions right after the show at HBO.com.